what's been happening in the beauty community on YouTube recently? If you haven't heard, I'll give a quick summary, but I'll leave a link in the description with some more links for further reading. The situation, known as Dramageddon 2, or Carmageddon as I prefer, has resulted in quite a few interesting conspiracy theories which we'll discuss in this video. Just over a year ago, Tati Westbrook, a makeup artist on YouTube who has her own vitamin brand, released a video titled By Sister, in which she publicly denounced James Charles, also a makeup artist on YouTube. The two have been good friends for a while, but the drama started after James made a post promoting a rival vitamin brand, Sugar Bear Hair. In the video, as well as talking about feeling betrayed because of the vitamins and generally exposing James's supposed entitled and ungrateful attitude, Tati makes some pretty serious allegations against him, basically implying he's a predator. Then of course, Jeffree Star, another makeup artist on YouTube and business owner, has to insert himself into the drama by tweeting that James is, quote, a predator and a danger to society. To cut a long story short, it was recently revealed that Dramageddon 2 was orchestrated by Jeffree Star with the help of Shane Dawson, another very popular content creator. Now we're up to speed, let's get into the conspiracies. If you watched Tati's apology video, you may remember her mentioning that it might not be a coincidence that Morphe are rumoured to soon be releasing their own beauty vitamins. It has also long been rumoured that Jeffree Star is either a part owner or investor in Morphe. They recently released a statement denying this, however Jeffree has literally stated in a clip that recently resurfaced that he is invested in Morphe. Yes. So what in the morning does you open the store? Yeah, so it's called Morphe Brushes. So it's like a company that um, I invested in and I have my own brand in the store. Kind of like a Sephora, but like better. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Even without this evidence, Jeffrey loves exposing brands, and Morphe have had the fair share of criticism, from scratchy brushes to patchy eyeshadows, but as far as I'm aware, he's never actually spoken out and criticised them. I wonder why. It's now public knowledge that Jeffrey, with the help of Shane Dawson, orchestrated Dramageddon to cancel James Charles, probably because they were jealous of him and saw him as a threat. As for the conspiracy, maybe Jeffrey involved Tati, fed her fake evidence and manipulated her into making the video, knowing there was no evidence of the claims that she made against James Charles, with the hopes that she also would get cancelled, people would stop supporting Halo Beauty and instead buy Morphe's beauty vitamins. I kind of buy this one, I mean Jeffree Star's a master manipulator. If there were any way he could kill two birds with one stone, as in take down two of his competitors in one, why wouldn't he? And if it was true, like literally how crazy would all this be if it was all as a result of hair vitamins? For a while I've kind of wondered if Jeffree Star's a lot more connected and probably more dangerous than we all think. At least three people have now either outright said or heavily implied that they fear for their safety after cutting ties with Jeffree. Of course they could just be being dramatic, but if that is true and that's genuinely how they feel, then that's quite scary and not normal. And I think it says a lot about Jeffrey. I mean, when was the last time that you feared for your safety or feared for your life after cutting ties with someone after ending a friendship? That's not normal. <laughs> I mean, I don't know how much it would cost to make someone disappear or at least to silence them in some kind of way, but I'm pretty sure Jeffrey could afford it. He would need to be pretty connected, so to speak, for that to even be possible. But to be honest, I won't be surprised if he is heavily involved in a lot more companies than we're aware of. I think it's really strange how Shane Dawson's getting a lot more backlash than Jeffrey right now, and I wonder if that's got something to do with Jeffrey's supposed connections. And don't get me wrong, I'm not saying that Shane doesn't deserve the backlash. Some extremely questionable clips have resurfaced recently, and he definitely hasn't handled any of this well. But Jeffrey's no angel, and people have been exposing him for years for his racist, sexist, and generally nasty and aggressive comments and actions. I honestly don't know why people still support him. How is it that at the time of writing the notes for this video, Shane has lost 1.1 million subscribers in the last 30 days, yet Jeffrey has only lost 500k, less than half of that? 
how is it that Shane has been demonetized on YouTube yet Jeffrey hasn't? How is it that brands are dropping Shane yet it's looking like Jeffrey is floating through all this barely scathed? It seems so obvious at this point that Jeffrey pays off drama channels, whether that's in money or gifts or whatever. But some of them just never seem to say a bad word about him and I just don't really buy that. There's a lot to say about the guy. Now this would be great for damage control. I wouldn't be surprised if there's many scandals that jeffrey has been involved in that we've never even heard of because he's got a top legal and PR team and also the possible fact that he buys the silence of drama channels. And I don't think it's beyond the realms of possibility that he might have the right connections or be in cahoots with certain companies that help him to mitigate the consequences in a, after an event like this. At the time of writing the notes for this, Jeffrey is yet to respond to any of the accusations against him. Maybe his deterioration will begin if and when he does. The next theory is that Jeffrey may have exposed Shane to take the attention away from himself. This isn't the first time Shane's past has been highlighted. Most of the clips circulating right now have been shared around in the past at some point and he has publicly apologised for them before. I don't know who started the dominoes falling this time, but I wouldn't be surprised if it was Jeffrey on a fake account or at least Jeffrey gathering a load of clips to send to other people to stir the pot and push them into exposing Shane. To be honest, there's not much evidence for this beyond it being 100% believable. I mean, I could totally buy Jeffrey throwing Shane under the bus so he comes out looking better. I can just imagine it now, him saying something along the lines of I knew Shane had made mistakes, I thought he'd changed, I was in a dark place when I became friends with him, but these recent videos are disgusting. But really, I absolutely think that Jeffrey is the puppet master here. I'm not saying that to defend Shane or Tati, I think they're all responsible for their own actions and should all be held accountable. But that said, I don't know if any of this would have really happened had Jeffrey not been in the picture. I think most of what's happened has gone down exactly how he wanted it to. Who cares if he doesn't look great in the meantime, he's Jeffrey effing star. He never really gets cancelled. If he can drag two of his competitors down, it's worth losing a few hundred thousand subscribers which he'll gain back anyway and eventually people will just brush it under the carpet and forget it happened. There's not really much to this one but it kind of makes sense if it were true. So Shane and Jeffrey have both released two palettes together, one called Mini Controversy and the other called Conspiracy. Kind of like how people theorised that Disney produced a movie called Frozen so if people searched Disney Frozen they'd find that rather than the truth about Walt Disney being cryogenically frozen. What if Jeffrey and Shane strategically named those palettes so people wouldn't be able to search as easily for the controversies they'd been involved in or conspiracies surrounding them? Knowing they had basically orchestrated Dramageddon 2, they must have known it would only be a matter of time until someone spilt the tea and the conspiracy theories started flowing in. But if you try and search Jeffree Star and Shane Dawson conspiracy, all that comes up is the makeup palette. I think Jeffree's done this quite a few times in the past maybe, it's like when he named his dog Drama. So at the time if you searched Jeffree Star Drama, it'd probably be his dog coming up rather than any of his past controversies. I think this is a pretty smart thing to do to be honest, I mean it's not foolproof, I mean you could still probably find the gossip if you dug enough, but it probably would throw some people off. Some seem to work better than others too, like searching Jeffree Star controversy still brings up his scandals rather than the palette. The final theory I'm going to talk about is the possibility of any of this being staged. So before Shane's second series with Jeffrey, which for the record I didn't watch because Jeffrey Star, there were theories circulating that all this drama was a social experiment, that everyone was in on it and it would be revealed in the series. Obviously this turned out not to be the case and it never made sense that James Charles would have agreed to be falsely accused of being a predator even if the truth came out eventually and he actually ended up better off in the end. We know that Jeffrey, with the help of Shane, seemed to have fabricated evidence against James, but I do question Tati's involvement. In her apology video, she mentioned getting sent a voice recording of one of James's alleged victims. Jeffrey told her to listen to the pain in their voice. She said that it wasn't enough for her to report it to the authorities, but it was enough to scare her. I mean, what does that even mean? 
I don't understand how it wasn't enough for her to report it, but was enough for her to make a public video which she knew would blow up, making serious accusations against James. I'm not saying she 100% knew Jeffrey was lying, but it's all very shady. I think James had developed an ego which Tati didn't like. Him supporting Sugar Bear Hair was the final straw and she wanted to take him down. I don't think she's as responsible for the situation as Jeffrey, but I don't really buy her being the poor victim that was manipulated into it all and had no control over the situation. I wonder if it was literally all planned by the three of them. Like maybe they were all getting jealous of James's success or they saw him as a threat to their careers, not because there was genuinely something to actually expose. Maybe Tati even knew that the accusations against James weren't true, but she didn't care because she wanted to cancel him and she knew that she'd be seen as a credible source considering she generally stays out of drama. And then maybe when she fell out with Jeffrey and Shane, she wanted to throw them under the bus before they did her. I'd take anything any of them say with a pinch of salt to be honest, but in Shane's live stream, which was reacting to Tati's apology, in response to her questioning how it was possible that various editorial outlets knew that she'd be making a video before she even knew, Shane blurts out, because you message drama channels. Ashley Kyle has already made it known that Jeffrey would tip her off about drama before it exploded, as he did with this situation, but I do wonder if Tati also did this. Shane's reaction is pretty cringy to watch to be honest, it's like watching an overgrown child having a tantrum. But I think it is potentially pretty telling. Tati clearly threw him under the bus, he was mad about that. Like I said, I'm not about to take his word as gospel and I'm no body language expert, but I kinda believe him when he said Tati messaged drama channels. If that really was the first time he saw Tati's video, that was his genuine reaction right there. He didn't have time to think of any excuses. Either way, Tati's played this pretty smart to be honest. Even if she was manipulated by Jeffrey and Shane, the bi sister video is still on her. Jeffrey and Shane spread rumours, but Tati made it public knowledge when she made that video. But now she's just able to shift the blame and probably won't suffer in the long run. I mean, no one ever really gets cancelled from these YouTube dramas. At the time of writing the notes for this, she has lost 150,000 subscribers in the last 30 days, so not a scratch on Shane although she didn't have half as many to lose in the first place. As for Jeffrey, he looks pretty bad right now because all this evidence against James has never surfaced, but I think we all need to be very careful with what and who we believe in the near future. I wouldn't put anything past him and I think there's a reason he hasn't dropped any of this. Obviously he'd look bad, but it'd just be another Darby Vanity situation which people barely seem to bat an eyelid about. He could just come out and say he was manipulated by the so-called victim that he believed them but was wrong to, I don't know, something along those lines. But he's sticking to his guns, he's still claiming he has evidence that he's never made publicly available and as far as I'm aware he hasn't reported it to the authorities. Why is this? If he's about to get cancelled for falsely accusing someone, I won't be surprised if some apparent evidence magically appears out of nowhere soon to back up his claims. He has the money, the connections and the knowledge to bribe, blackmail and fabricate evidence to be honest. I'm not saying he will do, but I just think this is why we all need to try our best to remain unbiased and take everything with a pinch of salt going forward. Most of the info in this video is just theories, it's not fact, um, I don't even necessarily believe it all myself, I just think it's quite fascinating and fun to speculate on. I think I've made my thoughts pretty clear on everyone in this whole situation. I think they're all responsible and they should all be held accountable, but no one seems to have the maturity to own up and put it right without shifting the blame and accusing other people and trying to take the attention off themselves. If you take anything at all from this video, please stop supporting Jeffree Star. If you aren't aware of his past, do some research. I fully believe that people can change, and most of the time I don't agree with permanently cancelling someone who has repented and righted their wrongs. But Jeffrey never changes. He is still as racist, sexist, aggressive and petty as he always has been. He feeds on the drama and there is literally a pattern of him becoming friends with other YouTubers, using them to benefit his own career such as teaming up with Shane to sell more palettes. Then when he can't use someone anymore, he falls out with them or exposes them somehow, probably to eliminate them as a threat. I would put money on the same happening with Shane. Whether it's now or later, I think it's inevitable that at some point Jeffrey's gonna throw him under the bus so he can gain out of it somehow. 
everyone who's ever been involved with Jeffree Star has always ended up getting cancelled somehow. Yeah, he always seems to bounce back. I just hope that eventually people stop enabling him. Don't come for Jeffree Star, because you'll end your career. So that's it for today's video. I thought I'd do something a little bit different and a little bit more light-hearted than murders and disappearances. Obviously there is some serious allegations involved in this drama and at one point James Charles even came out and said he considered taking his own life over it. And I'm not trying to minimise any of that by any means. But as it stands right now, it seems like the only people that are doing worse off is the people that created this situation and I think James Charles is doing a lot better for himself now so but yeah, I really hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, please consider liking and subscribing and leave your thoughts in the comments below. I really enjoy reading them. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next Thursday in a new video.